guys. So here's just a quick review, little reminder before we get into um, dealing with fractions and how to get rid of fractions <clears throat> that are multiplying a variable. When we look here, x plus 12, our question is, what is happening? What is the 12 doing to the x? Adding, right? So our inverse operation for this would be subtraction. What is happening here? Um, x minus 12, subtracting. So our inverse operation would be addition. What is happening here? Division. So our inverse operation would be multiplication. What's happening here? Multiplication. So our inverse operation would be division. Now, we have 1 over 12 x. Okay, but Ms. G, I don't understand. Is it dividing or is it multiplying? It's multiplying. Remember, guys, 1 over 12 is what? It's a fraction. What is a fraction? A fraction is a number. And you have to remember, whenever there's a number attached to a variable, they're always multiplying. So technically, the way that I would read this, right, is 1 divided by 12 times x. Do you understand? So this right here is a multiplication. So since this is a multiplication problem, the way that we have to get rid of it is division, which is where you have to remember that when we are dividing fractions, what we're really doing is we're doing keep, change, flip, and we are multiplying the reciprocal. So it would really be 1 over 12 times 12 over 1. And what's going to happen? Everything is going to cancel out. Give me 1 over 1, which equals 1. Remembering? Remembering? I hope so. Should be in your notebooks. If you're still having problems, please go back and check. So with that being said, we're going to look at an equation with a fraction attached to a variable. So I have 4 over 5m equals 28. I'm going to rewrite my problem so that it could be me and I can have space to work, right? And I can draw my little house. Ask myself, whose house is it? It's m's house. Who's attached to the m? 4 over 5. So who do we have to get rid of? 4 over 5 so that m will be alone on this side of the equal sign. How do I get rid of any number that I'm trying to move over to the other side? Inverse operation. What is 4 over 5 doing to the m? Multiplying. So what do we have to do? We have to do the opposite, which is division, which is the same thing as saying, multiplying it by its reciprocal, right? We just have to flip it. What we do to one side, we do to the other. Now, there's two ways here we know that 4 goes into 4 once, 5 goes into 5 once, and I'm left with m. What I need to figure out is how do I do 28 times 5 over 4? Let's see, I need a little reminder. No problem. There's two ways that we can do it. Our first way, we can cross simplify, which means that I just say, what number goes into both 4 and 28? 4. 4 goes into 24 once, 4 goes into 28 7 times. I rewrite my new fractions, 7 over 1 times 5 over 1 equals 35 over 1, which equals 35. What? She have no idea what you did. No problem. We come here to just regularly multiplying fractions, which you guys have been doing for a long time, okay? And if we need extra help, we come to Ms. G's help times and tutorings. Oh, just a quick reminder. Tutorings are Mondays in the afternoons, Tuesdays in the mornings, help times are Wednesdays, and basically whatever you need them if you come talk to me. So we have 28 over 1 times 5 over 4, right? So we have to do 28 times 5. Oh man. 5 times 8 is 40. Here are the 4. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 is 14. So I have 140. 28 times 5 is 140. 1 times 4 is 4, okay? Now, I, when I get my lovely calculator, which I don't <coughs> have one right now next to me, but if I plug in 140 divided by 4, I'm going to get 35. So 
So either way, we get the same answer. I come over here and I plug it in, M equals 35, and I got my answer, okay? Now I know that some of you are having difficulty checking, so I will do that with you right now. So we are going to check that M equals 35. Same thing, we're gonna rewrite our fraction, I mean our original problem, which was four over five M equals 28. Wherever I see my M, I'm gonna plug in 35. Four times, oh, four over five times 35 equals 28, okay? Now again, we have two ways of doing this. We could go four over five times 35 over one. I can cancel, five goes into five one time, five goes into 35 seven times, and seven times four is 28 over one. So this equals 28. Does 28 equal 28? Yes, it does. Now, if this confused you, we could also do it the other way, which I'm gonna do it on this side. I'm running out of space. And I can say four over five, M equals 28, four over five times, what did we get, 35? Equals 28, and then we have four over five times, 35 over one, right? Four times 35 is 20, carry the two, four times three is 12, 11, 12. 15, 14, 140. Five times one is five, okay? And 140 divided by five is 28. 28 equals 28, yes. 140 divided by five equals 28. Now, I'm gonna post a couple of things on Edmodo. If you guys wanna do some extra practice problems, your quizzes on Monday, but please guys, make sure that you study. If you have any questions, come see me and great job.